Now I'm about to rub Mother Nature all over these walls. Welcome, today we're gonna make that not green. So stay tuned for that. It's $20 for a gallon. It's overpriced by $19. And it's already doing this fun thing where it likes to run and drip everywhere. So it's a win-win situation that it's all over the floor and the walls. I'm not saying I'm going to grade my paints by the way they smell, but I'm kind of, you know, judging it a little. It's got an earthy smell to it, like an earthy chemical smell. Like earth mixed with chemicals. You know what? It smells like outside. <laughs> Good job, human beings. We made the planet smell like crappy paint. Oh, well, it's done. No, I'm just kidding. It, it's not done yet. I still have a few more touch-ups, like... Yeah, had to blend that in. I've already hit some of the areas that needed patched once. And the corners, and some of the edges, some of the trim. I've done a little bit. But I was hopeful when I got that first, you know, a little brush on that it was only going to be one coat. And then I hit some of those same areas with two coats. And now I'm optimistic that it's going to be two coats. So let's go ahead and roll some of this, um... Oof. Let's go ahead and roll some of this on. Try to figure out why it smells like this. And see what we can do. I'm a Fifty Shades of Beige guy myself. Like, any shade of beige will work for me. My wife, though, is like a let's paint it every color of the rainbow type person, which is fine. I mean, neither one of us are wrong. Um, I've got, I want out on this argument for this room. I don't know what area of the house I'm going to lose. If it was up to me, our entire home would look like some sort of retirement home out of the Midwest. There would be no angry colors. It would just be gray and beige. Some flat eggshell whites. Mm -mm. Boy, does that sound nice. The more I'm around the smell of this paint and becoming intoxicated by it, I realize that it, it, my initial assessment was wrong. It smells more like when you get like a brand new refrigerator and it's got that plasticky smell but it's been combined with crayons, and not like the good Crayola crayon smell. It's got that, like, rose art undertone to it that just really isn't a happy place to be as, like, a paint. The smell is something to, really something to behold. You should just buy this paint to smell it. This is something to make, or, or just buy a refrigerator and throw some crayons in it. Either way. Paint's cheaper, I guess. A long time ago, uh, it was like in the middle of summer in the Midwest, so it was like 100 some degrees outside, and we were working in like an automotive shop that had no AC. It was, it was like 100 degrees outside by the afternoon, it would be like 105 inside. Uh, I got home from a long day of sweating it out there just to have to go and help a buddy. And we were doing a backup camera install on like a three series, uh, four series, uh, like some BMW. My wife wanted to surprise me, which, she, surprise. Uh, she got me my favorite, she got me my favorite candy, which I really, not even a big candy person, but I love Twizzlers pulling peels. So I got home and I was starving. Eventually, uh, she noticed that I ate the entire bag and, you know, made fun of me for eating an entire bag of pull and peels in a sitting, but I didn't really think anything of it. And I, we decided to roll out and we went to the job and I was telling my buddy that I was going to eat an entire bag of pull and peels and I don't even, don't even know why, it just happened. He laughs, I laugh, and we go about our business, and we're working on this car, and all of a sudden I start feeling a little weird. And it was super hot out, because of course we were doing that outside too, because why not? Started to get a little sick, like, like I'm gonna barf. 
Not pretty sick. Not the glamorous sick is what I'm saying. And then I start like overtly sweating. <laughs> Eventually he's like, uh, there's something wrong with that guy. <laughs> and I, I end up taking a break and going off to the side and uh, vomiting up pulling peels all over. Uh, but the, the clincher here is that pulling peels are red. So when you vomit, it looks like something's gone horrifyingly wrong with your body when you vomit up a bunch of red blood looking stuff. Uh, so, that was a fun day. Uh, basically, the moral of that story is if you have to do a backup camera on a BMW, particularly in the mid-2000s, don't tag it at the BCM, because uh, it'll get really pissed off, and it'll... No, wait, hang on. Was it don't tag it at the BCM or tag it at the BCM? Uh, either way, uh, something weird happened. Maybe you shouldn't listen to my advice on that. I ate an entire bag of pulling peels for dinner, so obviously my advice on the BMW situation is null and void. It's a BMW, but that's just, the, that's just what they do. Oh man. Even like a pound worth of pulling peel. They go down all right, but man, when they come back up. Well, there it is. So, I think the phrase is, Three birds makes the stone, or no, that's not it. Two paint coats gets the worm. There we go. So I'm not exactly sure what Glidden's motives are. I believe they sell quantity over quality because we're gonna have to buy a few gallons to do the same thing that one gallon of normal paint would cover. I mean, labor's cheap because it's me. So I, it doesn't look bad at all though. When it's on. It just took three coats to get it from pale green to white. I'm just saying there's better ways I can spend my Tuesday or Saturday or... I, it's Monday. It's definitely Monday afternoon, I think. I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what day it is. I just paint things.